Hello everyone, and welcome to this edition of NASCAR Underdogs, Lake Speed. Lake grew up in Mississippi. He started racing go-karts at the age of 13. He was good enough to win the International Karting Federation National Championship, or IFK, six times. In 1978, he won the Karting World Championship. In fact, he was good enough to actually beat Ari Arian Senna, which would go go on to be a legendary open wheel racer. In 1980, after considering a career in IMSA, CART, or Formula One, he was convinced, basically convinced by Charlotte Motor Speedway promoter Humpy Wheeler to, to go NASCAR racing. So in 1980, Speed purchased his first NASCAR Cup Series car from a person in Chicago. Speed's first start was at a season opener at Riverside, driving a number 24 Oldsmobile for Cecil Gordon, finishing 29th. The next week, Speed took his own number 66 Chevrolet to the Daytona 500 to attempt to qualify, but they DNQ'd. A couple races later at Atlanta, the team did qualify, and they did finish 11th. Altogether, Speed made 11 starts in his own cars in 1980, with a best finish of 7th at Talladega in the spring. Overall, they scored 3 top 10s. Lake would finish the year driving for Nelson Malik Racings. Number 7, Sanyo Chevrolet. Their best finish was 6th in the fall in Ontario. In 7 starts, overall, he scored 0 poles, 0 wins, 0 top 5s, and 5 top 10s. On his way to 20, 22nd in points. And that was between all of the starts that he made you know, oh, throughout 1980. Now, Lake made the decision to just drive for himself in, him, in his number 66 speed racing Buick and Oldsmobile. Because he, he did run well both. And just a Buick at some tracks and Oldsmobile at others. He did run the final race of the 1981 NASCAR Cup Series season, driving the number 17 Kings in Daytona Buick for Roger Hamby at Riverside, starting 34th and finishing 16th. His best start in his number 66 was 13th in the summer at Michigan, and his best finish was 6th in the summer at Talladega. Overall, he scored 0 poles, 0 wins, 0 top 5s, and 6 top 10s in 27 starts in his number thirty in his number 66, finishing 18th in final points. Then, in 1982, Speed ran the Daytona 500 in his own number 66, Native Tan Buick, starting 32nd and finishing 41st, out early after being collected in an early crash. The remainder of the schedule, Lake drove for Roger Hamby in his number 17 Yazoo Mowers Buick. His best start was 8th in the fall at Riverside, and his best finish was 6th in the fall at Darlington. Unfortunately, the team was plagued by DNFs. He had 18 out of 30 races ended in DNFs. He ended up 20th in final points. At the end of the 1982 NASCAR Cup Series season, Speed and Hamby parted ways. Now, in 1983, Lake made the choice to drive the number one Uno Chevrolet owned by Haas Ellington. Full time. Well, it turned out to be part time until the team found sponsorship in Bullfrog Nets. He ended up making 18 starts in all in 1983. His best start was third. And. His best finish was third, and his both came in the spring at Talladega. Overall, in 18, those 18 starts, he scored two top fives and five top tens, and he ended up 27th in final points, even though he only, even though he only made 18 starts. Speed and Ellington remained together for one more season in 1984. Again, they ran a part-time schedule in that number one Bullfrog Nitz Chevrolet. Their best start was second twice at Pocono in the summer and at Darlington in the fall. Their best finish was third in the, in the spring at Rockingham. Overall, in 19 starts, he scored 
two top fives and seven top tens on his way to 26th and final points. Speed and Ellington parted ways at the conclusion of, of the season. So, for the 1985 season, Speed made the decision to, to go full-time racing by joining Ray Mock Enterprises' number 75 nationwide auto parts Pontiac. Their best start was 5th twice in the spring Bristol and Darlington. Their best finish was 2nd in the Daytona 500. Overall, they scored one top five. They... Overall, they scored four top fives and 13 top tens, en route to what would end up being his career best points finish of 10th. Now, after a strong season in 1985 with Ray Mock Enterprises, Speed returned for the 1986 season, but sho was shockingly let go following race four in Atlanta. In four starts, his best start was 7th in the spring at Rock Richmond, and his best finish was 10th twice at Daytona and Rockingham. So Speed was out of a ride, though he did fill in for the injured Rick Wilson in the number 4 All-Pro Parts Oldsmobile owned by Morgan McClure Motorsports. He started 19th and finished 14th. Out of a ride for the rest of the 86th season, Speed went to work building his own team to run in 1987. For the 1987 season, Speed was in number 83 numbered, numbered that year, <clears throat> for, number for the year, he became a born again Christian. And I think that's an awesome, awesome reason for <laughs> to number your car. I mean, that's got an awesome meaning behind it. Well, <clears throat> He also had Wins Auto Care and Kmart sponsoring his Oldsmobile. So with Blake Speed behind the wheel of his number 83 Wins Kmart Oldsmobile, he had a veteran crew chief in Daryl Bryant atop the pit box as well. The team ran a part-time schedule, only 13 starts in 1987. Their best start was third in the fall in Atlanta, and their best finish was third in the spring at Charlotte. Overall, they scored one top five and five top tens on their way to 31st in final points. And they didn't even run half the, half the schedule, so that's honestly pretty pretty good. After a se season of more or less experimenting with setups and such, the Speed Racing number 83 wins Kmart Oldsmobile ran full-time in 1988. They had strong support from Hoosier Tire. Back then... There was a tire war going on between Goodyear and Hoosier for NASCAR Supremacy. Their best start was 5th at North Folksboro in the fall. And their best finish was 1st in the spring at Darlington. And they did, though, fight DNFs all season, ending up with 11 of them. Overall, they scored zero poles, one win, four top fives, and seven top tens, en route to 17th in final points. And that victory in Darlington would be his first and, well, unfortunately, his only NASCAR victory. That following season, 1989, Speed once again fielded his own number 89 Bullseye Barbecue Oldsmobile full time. His best start was fourth at Pocono in the spring, and his best finish was 5th at Sonoma in the spring. Overall, the, he scored 0 poles, 0 wins, 1 top 5, and 5 top 10s on their way to 27th in final points. In 1990, Lake Speed still driving his number, his own number 83, Preston Oldsmobile, only made 6 starts at the beginning of the season. 4 of those 6 starts ended in DNFs. His best start was 14th in the Daytona 500, and his best finish was 11th at Talladega in the summer. Then in 1991, Kelly Yarbrough hired him to drive the number 66 Trop Arctic Pontiac, starting out at race 5 in Darlington. He made 20 starts for the team, though in those 20 starts, they had 11 DNFs. His best start was 6th in the summer at Daytona. And his best finish was 11th in the summer at Bristol. After race 24 at Martinsville, Yarborough and Speed parted ways. 
Speed ended up 32nd in final points. The 1992 season winning wasn't exactly what Lake Speed was hoping for. He resurrected his cell phone number 83, Pure X Ford. He made nine starts, and five of them ended in DNFs. His best start was 13th in the fall in Atlanta, and his best finish was 18th, twice in the fall in Phoenix and Atlanta, and he ended up 38th in final points. In 1993 would prove to be almost a game of musical chairs as Speed would drive for three different teams. Speed began driving, began the season driving his own number 83 Purex Ford part time, making 11 starts. His best start was 8th in the spring at Michigan, and his best finish was 14th in the Daytona 500. Then, following the passing of Davy Allison, Speed filled in three races in the number 28 Haviland Ford. His best start was second and his best finish was seventh, both coming in the summer at Michigan. After after Lake was done filling in for the Robert Yates Racing number 28 team, the number 15 Motocraft team Ford, Motocraft Ford team owned by Bud Moore signed him to drive full time. Speed made several starts for Moore in 1993. His best start was 10th in the, in, in the season finale in Atlanta, and his best finish was 11th at Charlotte in the fall. So, Speed and Bud Moore remained together as a team full-time in 1994 in that number 15 quality care forward. His best start was 10th in the fall at Phoenix, and his best finish was 3rd in the spring at Bristol. Overall, he scored 0 wins. Four top fives and nine top tens, and route to a solid eleventh in final points. That's the conclusion of the nineteen ninety four season. Speed and Moore parted ways. The following season, Lake ended up joining the Melling Racing Team. The number nine Spam Ford. His best start was sixth in the spring in North Portsmouth. And his best finish was 8th in the spring at Charlotte. Overall, they scored two top 10s and finished 23rd in final points. Now, in the middle of genuine draft 400, the number 30, Penzoil Pontiac, Michael Walter, got into Lake Speed after an incident on the racetrack. Michael waited, on pit, waited until pit road and blocked Speed's car. And got out and started throwing punches at his window net. Walter ended up with a $10,000 fine due to this. So, in 1996, Speed returned to the Melling Racing number 9 Spam Ford team full time. His best start was third in the summer at Indy, and his best finish was eighth in the summer at Pocono. Overall, they scored two top tens and finished 23rd again in final points. At the end of the 1996 season, Spam left the team as as their sponsor. Lake remained with the Melling Racing Team as number nine Melling Engine Parts Ford team full time in 1997. They skipped skipped six races. And his best start was 6th in the spring in Atlanta, and his best finish was ninth in the spring at Michigan. The team really had a tough year without a sponsor and being a single-car team among multi-car operations. Things looked better going into 1998 NASCAR Cup Series season. Speed remained with the Melling Racing Team, and they secured a sponsor, Cartoon Network, through return broadcasting. So, Lake Speed was behind the wheel of the number 9 Cartoon Network Ford, full-time. Or, at least, that's what we all thought. Speed ran the first 15 races, but then was in a practice crash at Sonoma. He was replaced by Butch Gillen for that, that weekend. Speed broke his sternum in the crash. Nonetheless, he was back the following weekend at Loudoun. Unfortunately, he was caught up in another a accident. 
This aggravated his injury pretty bad. And in fact, this moved Lake to decide to retire from NASCAR right then and there. In his 16th start that he did make in 1998, his best start was 11th at Dover in the spring, and his best finish was 17th in the Daytona 500. Lake Speed never really had had a chance in a top tier ride for any length of time. If he would have, what a what if. Lake sat around for a few years, but then he got back into racing go karts. The same way he began his racing career. So, in 402 NASCAR Cup Series starts, his one and only Cup Series went victory, coming on March 27th, 1988, at Darlington Raceway. Overall, he scored zero poles, one win, 16 top fives, and 74 top tens. And his best points finish was 10th in 1985, driving for Raymock Enterprises. Thanks for watching, guys. And also, thank you to everyone that's subscribed to the channel. We finally made it past a thousand. I really appreciate it, guys. Take care.